Safiya, uh, our third question from the email, she says, can you tell me if Khidr, peace be upon him, is a prophet or just a righteous person? And what is the significance of the event that took place between him and Musa alayhi salatu wasalam? It's an issue of dispute whether Khidr was a prophet or not. In the most authentic opinion, that he was a prophet. Otherwise, one of the greatest five messengers of Allah Azza wa Jal would not be uh, ordered to go and seek knowledge from him. And if you look at the events, he says in one of them that I have not done it through my own will, meaning that it is Allah Azza wa Jal who wanted to do this and Allah uh, 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 revealed to me to do what I had done. And about the significance, there are so many lessons to be learned. Among them is that this incident took place because Musa, peace be upon him, was asked by the sons of Israel, is there anyone more knowledgeable than you? And he said, I know no one who is more knowledgeable than myself. So what's the significance of the story of Al-Khazr? First of all, you have to acknowledge the fact that you do not know everything. And that is why the only instruction in the Quran that Allah Azza wa ordered His Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to ask for more is knowledge. وَقُلْ رَبِّي زِدْنِ عِلْمًا There is nowhere in the Quran where Allah orders His Prophet to say, Oh Allah, increase me in health, in wealth, in power, etc. Only knowledge. So Allah is telling His Prophet, say, increase me, O Lord, in my knowledge. So this is something that we all have to acknowledge that our knowledge is insignificant it's very little and we have to keep on pursuing asking and learning and teaching people secondly whatever calamities take place there has to be a wisdom behind them there has to be a reason so if i could not catch the person who's responsible for this i would take this as a the will of Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah preordained it upon me and I know that Allah does not preordain upon me except what is good. And this is only for the believer. So when the ship was a little bit harmed and when the boy was beheaded and killed, though he was still young, and when they or Al-Khidr fixed the wall that was about to fall, there was a wisdom that Musa could not understand, but Al-Khidr did that because he was a prophet and Allah ordered him to do it. So one of the biggest significance of this story is to appreciate Allah's gift to you through calamities. Even a calamity is considered to be a gift and a blessing from Allah Azza wa Jal. You may find the wisdom behind it, you may find the justification, and you may not. But both ways, you have to trust Allah Azza wa Jal, who only chooses the best for you. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu ati'u Allah wa ati'u Rasoola wa ulil amri minkum.